Hello, my wonderful artist. For today's activity, we are going to be making really cool spider webs. And all you need is a piece of paper, a pencil, a white crayon, and then either some watercolor paint or some markers. You can also use some food coloring in some water. You could even use coffee to paint over this. Anything with some color, there's all, or tea or anything like that. We are gonna start off by taking our pencil and we are gonna draw a line from this corner way over here all the way down to this corner down here. If we miss it just a little bit, that's okay. We're just gonna do our best. And we're gonna do the same thing from this corner right here all the way down to this corner. Okay, so we have a little bit of an X on our paper. Now we're gonna put our pencil right here in the middle of our X. And I'm gonna draw a line for the middle of our X that goes up to this uh, edge of my paper. So I'm just gonna draw a line up. Then I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna put my pencil in the middle of my X and I'm gonna draw a line that goes to the edge of my paper over here. Now I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do the same thing in this space. I'm gonna put my pencil in the middle of my X and draw a line up to the edge of my paper right here. Put my pencil in the middle of my X and draw a line up to the edge of my paper right here. Turn my paper again and do the same thing in this space. Put my pencil in the middle of my X, draw a line right here. Put my pencil in the middle of my X and draw a line up here to the edge of my paper right here. Turn it again and do the same thing here. Put my pencil in the middle of my X, draw it up to this space. Put the pencil in my X and draw it up to this space. All right. All right, so now we have a piece of paper that has a whole bunch of lines on it that look like little triangle pieces. It almost looks like a funny looking pizza or something. We're gonna pick a triangle, all right, that's at the top up here. It doesn't matter which one we pick, but we wanna pick one of our triangles at the top, not the bottom ones. And we're just gonna pick one triangle. And we are gonna do some U's, and they're gonna be spread out. We only wanna do about four or five. We don't want to do a whole bunch. If we do a whole bunch, then that's going to be a lot on our spider web, and we're going to have to go over a lot of them. We don't want to do that. So I'm only going to do about four or five. So I'm going to do one down here, and it's going to go from the end of this line to the end of this line, okay, so all the way across. So that's one U. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of space, and I'm going to move up here and do another U. Give it a little bit of space. Come up here, do another U, goes all the way across. Notice my U's are getting bigger. Then I'm gonna come up here and do another U all the way across. Okay, then I'm gonna do one way at the top, all the way across, okay? So I have about five U's, you can do about four, but you don't wanna do a whole lot and you want them to go all the way across. You do not want your U's to look like this, okay? I've seen a lot of U's that just go right in the middle like this, where they don't touch, right? We don't want our U's to look like that. We also don't want our U's to be way down here at the bottom and then none up here. Do you see how this is a bunch of U's and they're all kind of too close together. We don't want that either, okay? So we want just a few of them and we want them spaced out really far, all right? All right, now where this U ends, this is where our next one is going to start and it's gonna go all the way across from this line to this line, okay? This is where my U stops. So I'm gonna start here with my next U and it goes all the way across to this line, all the way across my triangle. This is where my U stops. It's gonna go all the way across to this triangle, this line over here. My U stops here. So it's gonna go all the way across. That's where this one starts. Same thing, my U stops here. So it's gonna go all the way across to this one. Okay, so it goes all the way across. So they get bigger as they go up. Okay, now it might be easier for you to turn your paper as you do this, and we are gonna draw U's that touch each other and connect all the way in all of our triangles, one triangle at a time. So where one U stops, that's where my next one starts. And notice they're really small down here, and then they get bigger as they go up because our triangle's bigger at the top. 
Okay, so wherever this one stops, that's where my next one starts. Oh, look how big that U is. That's okay. And then it's going to get smaller as they come down. And it's okay if some of your triangles have really small use. Okay, all right, do this all the way around your paper. All right, now that I'm doing it all the way around with my pencil, I'm going to take my white crayon and I'm going to trace on top of my straight lines with my white crayon first. I'm gonna do all of them in order. Then I'm going to trace on top of all of my U's with my white crayon and I'm going to do those in order as well. So we're gonna tra trace on top of all of our um, straight lines first and then we'll do all of our U's. All right, now that I'm done tracing my straight lines, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna do all of my U's. I do not want to do this U and then this U and then this U. You don't wanna move from one triangle to the next. What you wanna do is all the U's in that triangle and then move on to the next triangle or you're gonna forget which ones you've done. Okay, and you're gonna see something amazing that we're gonna do, uh, what's gonna happen when we put color on top. And I would push fairly hard with your crayon so that a lot of that comes off, which is why I'm holding it like this. So I have a little piece of crayon and I'm pressing pretty hard. All right, once you are done tracing over all of your pencil lines with your crayon, it is time to paint on top of it. Now again, you can use all kinds of colors. You can use watercolor, you can use um, food coloring that's in water. Like I said, you can use coffee, tea, there's all kinds of things you can use to paint on top. I happen to have watercolor here. I have black, purple, and orange. So I'm going to start by taking uh, my black color and I'm just gonna start painting over the whole thing. You do not need um, to paint each individual section, all right? So we're not gonna paint in between each little section. We're gonna paint over the whole thing. Like our lines are not even there. We're gonna see something magical happen. All right, once you've painted over the whole thing and you've given it a chance to dry, and it is nice and dry, you can take a black crayon or a black marker and you can come in and you can add your little spider. So I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna add a little round body. You can add, I mean, all kinds of spiders come in all kinds of shapes. And I'm gonna add a little head to it. All right, you can even add little things if you want to. All right, and then you're gonna add your little legs. All right, now I think I'm gonna add legs with a colored pencil because my oil pastel or the crown that I'm using um, is just a little bit too fat. And so I'm not gonna get nice skinny legs if I don't add my legs with a pencil. So I'm gonna come in, I think, and add my legs with a pencil. All right, so I get a nice skinny leg spider. And le spiders have two legs up here. All right, and then two legs in the back. Two legs that curve up here. I need a black pencil. And then two legs in the back. All right, and I'll go over it with a black colored pencil. Right, but there is, to darken those legs, but there is my little spider web with my spider for my Halloween drawing. Really just a fun science drawing too, can make some spider facts. 
All right, my wonderful artists, I cannot wait to see what you come up with and to see your awesome webs. <laughs>